What up, y'all? So, I'm beginning to question of why did I say what I said about that dude deserving it. Well, let me tell you. I'm going to be straight up honest. I did say that that guy deserved it. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that I didn't say that. Because I did. But there's a reason why I said that. It's because um, that man um, showed up here, harassed and attacked my family. After rallying and riling up half my neighborhood and coming here to harass us and my family. And you know what's sad? If the cops would have done their fucking job, this could have all been prevented. All this started because the police would not help us. My family has reached out over 113 times for help. But nothing got done. And now as a result of them not helping us, I'm now in a court case. So yes, I do blame the police for what happened that day. If they had done their jobs and actually looked into this situation, this whole thing could have been prevented. Him coming here could have been prevented. All the shit that went down could have been prevented. But because of the cops not taking my family seriously and acting very unprofessional, I had to take matters into my own hands. And I'm sorry, but when you show up to my house and harass my family and you sit there and antagonize them and get in their face while you're on our property and we tell you to leave and you don't leave that gives us every right to do what we did I did not physically hit that man with the bat he caught the bat and grabbed it away from me that does not constitute simple assault. That is not assault. If I hit him, then yes, that's assault. But this man sat there a few weeks prior and threatened to shoot up my family. Threatened to shoot up me. And when he showed up, I had every right and reason to do what I did. And like I said, I know this doesn't look favorable on me, and I get that, but y'all need to realize, all y'all trolls that do this shit, y'all need to fucking realize that what you're doing gets people hurt. What you're doing gets people killed. What you're doing lands innocent people in prison and in jail. Like, when is enough enough? When are you guys going to fucking stop? Huh? When are you going to stop going after people for no reason? When are you guys going to grow up and stop the bullshit? Like I said, that man riled up half my neighborhood and started harassing me and my family. And like I said, the only reason why I went out there with the bat is because of the fact that he riled up half our neighborhood, would not leave our property. And when I swung the bat at him, he caught it, and that's what pushed him on the public property. I never hit him. He grabbed the bat. He literally grabbed it and yanked it away. After me and him tussled with it for a moment. So I don't know what kind of crackhead bullshit you guys are on. But you need to stop. I know why you guys are doing this. You're doing this because you want to make me out to be the next Chris Chan. And that's not going to happen. 
I'm not going to let that happen. I will fight this whole damn thing tooth and nail. Because if anybody deserves to be arrested, it's all of you guys that have harassed me and harassed my family for the last five to seven years. I don't deserve this. If anybody should be going to court, it's you guys, not me. You know, these last several years, I've tried to mind my own business. But because I don't do what you want, because I'm not doing what you want, you guys feel like you have the right to do this shit. And you don't have that right, man. You don't have that right to do what you guys are doing to me. When are you guys going to grow up and fucking stop? Huh? When are you going to grow up, shut up, and cut the bullshit? I know what you guys are trying to do, and it's not going to work. Like I said, I'll fight this whole damn thing my entire life if I have to. If it means putting a stop to the bullying and the low cow garbage on the internet, I'll fight this shit. I don't care. I will fight this shit as long as I need to. But most important, I am calling out the Akron PD for not doing their job. Over 113 times, my family has reached out for your guys' help. Over 113 times, my family has begged and screamed and pleaded for help from you guys. And what did you do? You failed us. You mocked us. You laughed at us. Instead of trying to get us the help you needed, you sat there and neglected us and laughed at us. And then you try to blame the whole fence thing on me when that wasn't on me. And then you try to tell our landlady to evict us. Or more so me. Saying that I'm the problem, but I'm not the problem. The problem here is you guys. The problem here is the trolls. That's the problem. You guys need to do your fucking job. Seriously. Stop fucking neglecting people. Stop neglecting people. People that go through this shit. Because what they're going through when it comes to show like this is very real. And no one deserves it. At all. Like I said. Do I regret what I did to the guy? From a legal standpoint, yes. But from a personal standpoint, no, because I have a right to defend my family. He came onto our property and harassed me and my family after riling up half the neighborhood and got them down here to harass us as well. I was only protecting myself and my family. That's all I was doing. I was doing like anybody else would do and protecting myself and my family from being hurt. Because I have full-fledged evidence of this guy wanting to come down here ahead of time. I have actual evidence of him posting in Discord about coming down here to hurt me and my family. So yes, I had every right and reason to do what I did. But I want you trolls to know that what you do is so disgusting and so, divine, so defiling and wrong and vile. No one deserves what you fucking do to them. No one deserves that. Not me. Chris didn't deserve it. Tony didn't deserve it. Heather Kawana didn't deserve it. Suplex City Vlogs didn't deserve it. No one deserves what you guys do to them. 
Y'all troll shit needs to stop. Before someone seriously gets hurt. 